guys, it's Crystal, the founder of Bold Culture Beauty, a two-time award-winning blog and your first stop when you're looking to simplify your natural hair routine. Today, we're taking a closer look at intentional hair care and finding products to meet your hair specific needs. When it comes to natural hair care, I know that products matter. When we see beautiful curls, we immediately want to know what they're using in hopes that we can create a similar look. I've learned from experience that this does not always work in our favor. Selecting products without first understanding our hair specific needs and how to meet them rarely works in our favor. This process is how product junkies are born and product graveyards begin. Now I'm not knocking the need to explore and experiment with new products. A product junkie at heart, I own a beauty supply store. I know that products matter. But I also understand that when it comes to natural hair care, having a key understanding of your hair specific needs and selecting products that meet those needs makes all the difference. So if you're ready to take a more intentional approach to natural hair care, learn more about your hair specific needs and find products that help you meet those needs, well, you're in the right spot. This week, we're taking a closer look at some staples of natural hair care and simple steps that you can take to be more intentional when selecting products. So grab a friend and grab a pen and let's take a closer look at some staples of natural hair care and how to be intentional when selecting products. Okay, let's start by taking a look at some of the things that you'll need to know. So before purchasing products, make sure you take inventory of your hair, its specific needs, your climate, and the current products that you have in your product arsenal. If you're still on the quest for your favorite products, you should make sure that you take a close look at how your hair looks, feels, and behaves when it's clean with and without product in it, and also when it's wet versus when it's dry. You also want to be mindful of what you liked and what you didn't like about the products that you've previously used. Taking into account also ingredients. This will help you to avoid ingredients that don't necessarily work well in your hair or that didn't create the look that you desire. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at some necessities. Now there are certain staples that your hair care arsenal should not be without. Without them, we couldn't adequately care for our hair. So when you're searching the aisles for your favorite products, the addition of these staples is a must. Number one, shampoo. Without it, no curl care routine is complete. It's the foundation for clean, healthy curls. This product staple will allow you to create an environment that allows your hair to thrive. Number two, conditioner. Deep or rinse out, conditioners are a great way to nourish your hair and seal in moisture. Now the state of your hair and its protein needs will help you determine what type of conditioner is right for you. Number three, stylers. Now stylers are either cream gel or foam based and have a certain level of hold. The type of styler you need will depend on the style you wish to create, the unique characteristics of your hair and your climate. And number four is my honorable mention, leave-in conditioners. Now leave-in conditioners are not necessarily a necessity but can be useful and can often be paired under your favorite stylers. Leave-in conditioners are also a great option for curlies that want some volume and curl definition without any significant hold. While leave-in conditioners will not increase the longevity of your style, when paired with an appropriate styler as a styling system can help to create curls that last. Getting to know a product and determining if it's right for you requires that you have an appropriate understanding of that product, its directions for use, and your hair. So consider the following things when selecting products that are right for you. Shampoos are designed to cleanse the scalp by removing dirt, debris, and product buildup from our scalp and hair strands. A lot of the negative reviews that you hear about shampoos can often be due to one or two things. Number one, your hair is finally clean and what you're experiencing is the actual surface texture of your hair. Or number two, you're using a shampoo that is too strong for you. Either way, these outcomes can often result in negative reviews of shampoos. 
What you have to understand is that shampoos are a necessity. And so you need to know what your hair looks and feels like when it is completely clean and then find a shampoo that will help to maintain and promote the overall health of your hair. Now, conditioners are a great way to nourish the hair. They also provide temporary aesthetic improvements to the hair. Conditioners that are too strong or too thick and not rinsed out completely from the hair will often result in product buildup and can negatively affect the way that your hair responds to its stylers. Also, the overuse or misuse of proteins can result in negative outcomes as well. So make sure you have an appropriate understanding of your hair specific needs if and when it requires protein and then use that information to help you find a conditioner that is right for you. Now stylers are designed to help enhance the natural curl pattern of your hair. They do not create curls. Some stylers work well independently, while other stylers work best as a curl care system. It's important to remember that stylers will usually yield their best results on hair that is clean. So get to know your stylers, the directions for use, how much water might be required to create your style, and if it is compatible with other products. And then it's important to remember that practice and mastering your style will actually help to improve the outcomes of your styler. Having the appropriate understanding of how your hair looks, feels, and behaves without product in it is vital. Knowing the key characteristics of your hair, the overall health of your hair, and your hair specific needs can help make product selection more manageable. Use this information to determine what products are right for you and when and how to use them to help promote the overall health of your hair. If you still need help sorting out what products are right for you, we'll head to Bold Culture Beauty, schedule a curly conversation, or take advantage of our educational resources, which are all designed to help you master your natural hair experience. Well guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And for more great tips on ways to simplify your natural hair journey, head over to boldculture.com. And until next week, go boldly. Thank you.